In this video, we're going to be going over this Leatherman Sheath Survival Kit, um, which is intended to go on your belt using this. Here is a full blowout of my Leatherman Sheath Kit. Um, I wanted to make this not only a survival kit, but also a da daily use kit. So it sort of adapts to both uses. Uh, we'll go through pocket by pocket, section by section, and explain each set of items in there. But real quickly, um, in the back sheath slot pocket, I've got these items here. That's my survival pocket. It's harder to get to, so I've only got things that I really need in you know more of a survival situation. That includes two bags to gather water, two ties to twist off those bags. These also are reflective, so they can serve as a, a signaling device. We've got four uh, water purifying tablets. We've got a signal mirror, and we've got a Fresnel lens. Um, if we move to the front slot pocket, that is one that I have sort of more for regular use. So, you know, I've got some basic first aid items in there, um, including alcohol wipes, an H bandage, a larger bandage, and two normal size bandages. Uh, I also keep some money in there, um, just in case that comes in handy. Um, you can, you know, if I were to switch out, you know, a couple 20s with 100, it would t save a little weight, but for right now I've been using 20s. Um, these items here, these four in the middle, comprise what goes in the main pocket. So this goes at the bottom. This is Tinder Quick. I've got eight pieces of Tinder Quick in there in a waterproof baggie. Of course, I've got the Leatherman. Um, you can see how this has been updated in my videos on the Leatherman. And then I've got a collapsible bellows. This is very much more of a regular use, regular use item. I use it all the time when I'm building fires, um, but obviously in a survival situation, it has its uses too. Um, this is a uh, lighter that comes with duct tape and a fishing sewing and fishing and sewing kit inside. Um, I have a whole video on this, so I'm not gonna break it out separately, but I'll uh, include that below. So that's what goes in the inside pocket. And then we've got the two outside pockets, the two outside uh, slots here. So on one side, I put a Sharpie. I put that on the front side because I wear that on my left side. So sort of it's easier to reach uh, from the front side. And then on the back side, that's sort of my survival side. Um, I put this in there. This is a ferro rod fire starter. I've got a whole video series on these that I'll link below, so I won't, you know, go through how to make this, but uh, this has uh, various items in here. It's got my cordage. This is survivor cord uh, with various um, types of cord inside. So this serves as my fishing line and other sorts of line here, should I ever need that. Um, this has a, a tick remover on there. There's a compass on the top. So this covers a lot of a lot of items here. And I'll, again, I'll, those videos, you can go into depth as to what's here. And then I have one Ranger band here. Um, I actually put this on here to put on the tip of the ferro rod so it doesn't fall out. I found that sometimes uh, in the right situation when I'm moving around a camp, futzing around the backpack or whatever, uh, it would come off. But once I put the Ranger rod on the bottom or the Ranger band on the bottom, uh, it wouldn't come off anymore. And then I have a Ranger band as well as part of uh, my kit and that has a variety of uses uh, in the field. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to go through and show you how we, we pack all this up. All right, so the back slot is right here. It's kind of hard to get to when you're wearing this. So this is the survival slot. This is the slot that I don't go to unless I really need to. So that's for, again, these items along the top row up here. So the first thing we're going to put in is the Fresnel lens. Uh, the Fresnel lens has a rougher side, and then it has a smoother side. I'm going to put the rougher side away from where I'm going to pack the other things. In other words, I'm going to make it face the very back. So this will be the thing farthest back in the kit. So first, let's go ahead and get that in there. It just fits. So you've got to slide it down in. And you might need to wiggle it a little bit. It can get caught sometimes. All right, once you get the, the Fresnel lens all the way down there, it should look like this. It comes right up to the lip of the top. Next, we're going to pack our water elements together uh, to get down into the pack. So we've got our two bags here. They're folded up on top of each other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack the other elements for water inside them. Um, so we've got a total of four purification tablets. We can stagger these such that the purification tablets don't overlap. So there's one, two, three, four going in there. And that will keep this as um, the profile as thin as possible. Then we're gonna just fold these in half, and we're gonna tuck those over on the side. So again, we don't want these wires going over where the, um, where the tablets are, again, so we can minimize the, uh, minimize the width here. 
So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, once you've got that, we're just gonna slide that on top of the Fresnel lens and down. Now remember, we put the Fresnel lens smooth side up. So once you get it, once you get it within the pouch, it should flow down there pretty nicely. Just like that. Our last element in the, the back slot is going to be the signaling mirror. Um, I will put this between the plastic bag and the Fresnel lens with uh, the paper side facing the Fresnel lens, and that'll slot in pretty nicely, just like that. And that's the back pouch. Next, we're going to go to the front slot pouch, as you can see right here, there's another pouch. In here, we're gonna keep our, our first aid items and some money. Um, this is basically much easier to get to when you're using it on your belt. Imagine it on the left side of your belt. You can get your finger down here to get these Band-Aids out if you need to. Um, real handy to have them on hand at all time. I find that if I have these nearby, I don't need to go dig through the first aid kit. I've got alcohol wipes and a few different bandages. Covers a lot of the things I'll encounter regularly in the field. Um, so to pack these up, we're going to combine them into sort of one um, item that's about as wide as it needs to be, which is about an inch and a half roughly. Um, so we'll put these in like this and just sort of build them on top of each other like that. Um, and then you can also pack the money right here. The money's a little harder, so it actually makes it a little easier to slide it down once you, once you have this sort of built together. So once you've got your little packet here, just work it down on in like this. And it should go pretty much all the way down. You, you, don't, want, you don't want the paper sticking out because it'll get, as you take the knife in and out, it'll get worn out. So you want to make sure it's down in there. And then once you have it, it'll look something like this. All right, next we're going to go to the main compartment. So that's these four items in the middle here. Uh, for the main compartment, we're going to have this on the very bottom. So that'll act like a floor. Um, once you push it down there, it'll stay pretty flat like this, but it does take some working to sort of get it to the bottom. So let's go ahead and just shove it on down in there and then position it, position it the way we need it to go. We definitely need it flat because the other elements actually won't fit if it's not. Actually, I haven't tried this way before, but this seems to be easier than shoving it down from the top. Look at this. Discovered a new method while making the video. So, shove it in a little hole in the side. Then you'll see you can see the four right from the side here. That's how it should look when you shove it from the top, but this is actually way easier than that. All right. So, you have that on the bottom, and now you've got sort of the base, what'll make the floor of the inside. All right, the next element we're gonna put on the inside is this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in sideways and then twist it to the side. And what that, what that will do is sort of hold it open for the other elements. So let's go ahead and do that. I let this sit on the right side. So now that it, now it's in sort of sideways and then just twist. You see how that's expanding the whole thing open? So this essentially forms the left-hand wall of the inside of this container. You wanna make sure it's down there as low as possible. Um, because this is this is a fairly tight fit. I've tried not to leave it so it's too much of a pain to get things in and out, um, but you do want to make sure it's down in there. So I've sort of shoved that down as far as it'll go, and that's how the lighter with a fishing and sewing kit will fit into the, the kit. All right, next element is just the collapsible bellows. Real simply, we're gonna put this here. That leaves this space for the knife, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, finally we got the multi-tool. Um, now, when I've got this packed out here and I'm using it, um, I usually just shove the multi-tool in like this. I always go hammer first, and I just put it down into the into the crack like that. And it's pretty compact in there. This really um, just fits in one of the gaps here, but then this still can come out. So you can take this in and out while you're using it. Um, when it's on your belt, I really don't find any problem with, with going in and out. Um, so I just shove it down in there. And then once you've got it in there, this can be, this can be closed. 
So you got to go like this. So this, this can be a little hard to close sometimes, um, especially the first time you're putting this together, it may or may not reach. Um, you can stretch this out. So I've just added this and made it a little bigger, so it still needs some stretching. But what'll happen is as I leave this sort of just sitting on a shelf like this, it, the fibers will stretch out naturally. It'll be a little easier to close. But once you've got it set up, it's not, it's not too hard. I mean, as you can see here, even from what I just did now, it's easier. Um, you can see right here, this cap prevents this from pushing down on the, on the button, which it might do given how tight this is otherwise. So this cap is a necessary, a necessary component here. All right, I usually wear this on my left. So the front is sort of my daily use one. And for that, I'm just putting in this, this pen. I use this, you know, whenever it, whenever it comes handy, comes in handy and it just sits in there. Um, I find this never really, this never has really come out on me like, like uh, some other things I have that I've had on the outside here. Um, when it, if you push it down, that catches. And I find it never gets up higher than this, right? Because otherwise it hits the bottom there. Um, so that stays in there pretty good. And our last element to add to the outside is our ferro rod fire starter. That's going to go down in here like this. You push it all the way down. Um, I, I added this ranger band because sometimes I found that this would pop out uh, when I was doing things at camp. So what I did was add this to the bottom here. And not only does that add a ranger band to my kit, which has its own utility, but it also keeps this from falling out. So I think I've got a one and a half or yeah, I think a one and a half inch ranger band here. I just get it on here and twist it around a couple of times, uh, usually three times for this size. But if you have a smaller ranger band, you might not need to do it as much. Um, and then it stays on there. When you have this on your belt loop here, uh, you've got the compass right on the top. So you can, you can see which get a quick bearing on the direction uh, just by looking down and uh, that's it. I often also keep a, a flashlight on the kit, but I'm gonna actually do a separate video on that because there's a lot of options there and I haven't really settled on one. You know, this one I usually sit here like this, um, but again, look for a second video on that um, where I discuss the various options here because still not fully sure which one I'm gonna go with. Um, but that's my kit.